Hey everybody, Ryan here. Alright, I'm going to go over all five of the NHL games from the 31st of March 2021. Alright, there was one game cancelled for this evening. That was the game between Calgary and Vancouver. It was cancelled due to Adam Gaudet testing positive yesterday. It wasn't necessarily that that caused that. It was that, I guess, there was possible exposure for other players. So, they just decided to cancel the game. So, they will reschedule that one for later in the season. Which isn't much longer. Alright, first game. Oh, I forgot to say. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And now we're on to Toronto versus Winnipeg. Toronto won this one 3-1. 440 into the first, Austin Matthews scores his league-leading 24th goal of the year from Zach Hyman and Mitch Marner. Then at 1047 of the first, Zach Hyman scores his 12th of the year from Matthews and Marner. Then at 1640 of the second, Kerfoot scores his 6th of the year, shorthanded from Mikheyev and Riley. Make it 3-0 at that point. But, less than a minute later, Josh Morris sees 2nd of the year on the power play from Mark Shifley and Kyle Connor, ending any possible shutout for Toronto. But, the score is 3-1, Toronto with a 2 much needed points. Alright, Winnipeg outshot Toronto 27 26. They beat him in the face off dot as well, 51 46. Toronto 0 for 5 on the power play. That's pretty bad for usually a pretty good power play team. And 1 for 4 for Winnipeg. Penalty minutes were 10 to 8, Winnipeg with 10. Hits 27 14 in favor of Winnipeg. Blocks 17 11 in favor of Toronto. And give away 16-6, Toronto with 16. Alright, Campbell had 26 saves, 963 save percentage. And Hellebuck, 23 saves, 885 save percentage for a loss. And the day has finally come, Buffalo fans. The streak is over. Your winning streak is now set to 1. It's better than the 18-game losing streak it previously had. So it's definitely positive. The negative here is for Flyers fans. Uh, I don't know what to say about the Flyers anymore. That hasn't already been said. They lost 6-1 to to Buffalo today. Scoring began 9-32 in the first period. Sam Reinhart's 13th. Front Kyle Pozo and Rasmus Ristolainen. The 11-59 into the first. Curtis Lazar's 5th from Riley Sheehan. Then at 3-50 of the second... Philadelphia will get their one and only goal. Ivan Provorov six from Sean Couturier and Jacob. I'm sorry, Jakob Voracek. 9:42 into the second, Stephen Fogarty scores his first of the year for Buffalo from Ristolainen and Jacob Bryson. Then 15:39, Casey Middlestat. Yes, that Casey Middlestat that was drafted extremely high in the draft and has not lived up to those expectations. But hey, he got a goal tonight. Casey Mills, that's second of the year, from Fogarty and Bryson. That 14.53 of the third, Brandon Montour, raising his trade stock at this point. Third goal of the year, shorthanded. Then at 15.30 of the third, so less than a minute later, Montour scores his fourth of the year, second of the game, second shorthanded goal of the game, from Kyle Pozo. There you go, 6-1 to one, Buffalo victory. And like I said, the streak is over. I'm sure Buffalo fans are happy about that at least. Alright, Philadelphia outshot Buffalo 32-27. Beam in the face out die as well, 58-42. Philadelphia 0 for 3 on the power play. Buffalo, no power plays. Because no problem is for Philadelphia to 6th for Buffalo. Hits were 15-13 in favor of Philadelphia. Blocks 13-6 in favor of Buffalo, and giveaways 3-1, 3 for Buffalo. Elliott made 12 saves for a 750 save percentage, and Lyon made 9 saves for a 900 save percentage for Philadelphia. Not a good goaltending night. Olmark, 31 saves, 969 save percentage for the win. I figured that Olmark would be the only reason that they would come out of this losing streak. He'd have to have a hell of a game, and he did. He had a very good game this evening, so... Took them out of that streak. Alright, on to Arizona versus Colorado. Oh, now you want to talk about slapping tonight. Colorado won this one 9-3. to 
yeah, that score is accurate. And yes, as you can see on the screen, it is accurate. Colorado scored five first period goals. Yes, very real. 404 into the first period, Jonas Donskoy scores his 13th of the year from Tyson Jost and Samuel Girard. Then, less than 30 seconds later, 431 into the first, Andre Burakovsky scores his 8th of the year from Nazim Kadri and Samuel Girard. Then, at 441 into the first, 10 seconds after the previous goal, Michael Bunting scores his first goal of the year from Alex Goligoski and Nick Schmaltz for Arizona, making it 2-1 at that point. That gets crazy for Arizona pretty quick. 5.36 into the first, Pierre-Edouard Belmar scores his fifth of the year from JT Confer and Jacob McDonald. Then at 6.04 of the first, Jonas Donskoy scores his 14th of the year, second of the game, from Ryan Graves and Andre Nichushkin. That, why am I feeling like that's not the right name? His first name is Andre. Is it Nikolai? No. Why is Nichushkin his first name? Why am I drawing a blank on this? Hmm. Alright, 7.31 into the first. Donskoy completes the first period hat trick, his 15th of the year, on the power play for Miko Rotnin and Gabriel Landeskog. The 1857 of the first, Oliver Ekman Larson scores his second on the power play from Lawson Krause. The 1745 of the second, Connor Garland scores his 10th of the year from Bunting, making it 5 3 at that point. Not out of the realm of possibility, but Colorado kills that pretty quick. About 21 seconds, pretty quick. 18.06 into the second, Gabriel Landeskog scores his 13th unassisted. Then at 6.05 of the third, Rontanen scores his 21st from Nathan McKinnon and Devin Tays. Yes, that is the 7th goal of the game for Colorado. And that is the first point for Nathan McKinnon. It took 7 goals for Colorado for McKinnon to get his first point. That's saying something. 11.57 into the third, Landis Cog scores his 14th from Rotnin and McKinnon. Then at 16.49 into the third, Birkowski scores his 9th from Donskoy and Belmar. So Donskoy ended this game with 4 points, 3 goals and assists. assist. He was your top point getter for the game, for sure. But there were a lot of Colorado guys that had good games. Just look up and down that, you'll see quite a few. Alright, Colorado won, er, won the shots on goal category, 38 to, 38 to 31. Uh, they also beat Arizona in the faceoff dot, 54-46. Arizona won 1 for 6 on the power play, Colorado 2 for 4. Penalty missed 24 to 12, 24 for Colorado. Hits 24-10 in favor of Arizona. Blocks 17-8 in favor of Arizona. And giveaways 9-4, Colorado with 9. Aiden Hill, 6 saves for 600 save percentage. And someone I've never heard of, Prosvitov, had 23 saves, 821 save percentage for Arizona. Grubauer, 28 saves, 903 save percentage for the win. I think it's safe to say that Arizona destroyed was destroyed tonight by Colorado. I think that's an understatement, honestly. Alright, on to LA versus... Vegas. And LA wins this one 4-2. Alright. The minute 58 into the first, Andreas Athanasiu scores his 7th from Nathan Walker. At 17-23, Leish Anderson scores his 2nd goal of the year for Tobias Bjornfoot. Let's see, did he throw the puck into the stands? No, wait, no, no. That's only Gold Mouse does that with. Sorry I had to throw out there. Sorry. All right, 9.41 into the second, William Carlson scores his ninth of the year from Marcia so and Theodore. Then at 12.21 of the second, Jared Anderson Dolan scores his fourth for Athanasiu. Then at 16.12, Alex Ifala scores his ninth for Mikey Anderson and Andre Kopitar. Then at 3.36 of the third, Theodore scores his sixth goal of the year from Alex Tuck. Then, oh, I forgot to mention, 18-14 of the second, Chandler Stevenson gets an elbowing major in game misconduct. We'll see what supplemental discipline comes from that one. So, we'll have to see how that one goes. What is it with LA and getting major penalties against them this year? Just seems all too common. Alright. 
Vegas outshot LA 42-30. Faceoff dot went to Vegas as well, 51-49. LA 0 for 5 on the power play, Vegas 0 for 3. Pendant miss 25 to 8, 25 for Vegas. Hits 18-16 in favor of Vegas. Blocks 16-15 in favor of LA. Giveaways 5-1, Vegas with 5. Peterson for LA, 40 saves, 952 save percentage. Having had a great game, and he got the win. Flurry, 26 saves, 867 save percentage for a loss. On to the last game of the evening. It is between Minnesota and San Jose. San Jose won this one 42, and uh, no scoring in the first. 441 to the second. Rudolph Balser scores his fourth of the year from Tomas Hurdle and Brent Burns. Then at 922 of the second, Ryan Donato sixth of the year on the power play from Burns and Ferraro. Then at 823 of the third, Kirill Kaprizov scores his twelfth of the year from Carson Soucy and Ryan Hartman. Then at 1058 of the third, Nikolai Kanishov scores his first career NHL goal for San Jose from Eric Carlson and Tomas Hurdle. Then at 1947 of the third, Matt Zugrello scores his sixth from Kevin Fiala and Jared Spurgeon. At 1959 of the third, Evander Kane adds his 15th goal of the year, empty net goal, to make it 4-2, San Jose win. San Jose is now four points behind St. Louis for a playoff spot. I didn't think they'd be that close at any point. Well, other than maybe like beginning of the year, like the first couple of games, but still. Alright, shots on goal were 33-28 in favor of San Jose. Faceoffs 51-49 in favor of San Jose. Uh, play, power play was 0 for 2 for Minnesota, 1 for 3 for San Jose. Penalty minutes 8 6, Minnesota with 8. Hits were 34 28 in favor of San Jose. Blocks 18 15 in favor of Minnesota. Giveaways 9 8, San Jose with 9. Kakinen 29 saves, 906 save percentage on loss. And Jones 26 saves, 929 save percentage to continue his really hot month of March. We'll see how he does in April. Alright, that's all the games for this evening. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And other than that, make sure to like, comment, share, and I will see you all next video. Bye, everybody.